YouTube, what's going on? Scuba Steve, I'm back. For you guys that are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. I put out a lot of good informational videos. I'm going to go ahead and count this amongst one of them. <clears throat> for you guys that are return subscribers, stay with me. I'm going to cover fishless cycle using ammonia only, and that's it. And I'm going to tell you why I do it that way. Stay with me. Okay guys, let's look at the pros and cons of doing a, basically what's a, what's a beneficial bacteria swap, otherwise known as the instant cycling of your tank. Okay, now if you have multiple tanks inside of your house, you know, uh, I've only, right now I've only got one, I did have three, right now I've only got one, basically, and I wouldn't cross contaminate my tanks anyway, basically I ran into a parasite, crashed my whole tank got that parasite from my local fish store so I can't go back to them and say give me some of your bacteria give me a dirty sponge give me some of your gravel give me you know a piece of your filter floss nothing like that and you know what guys it's risky to do that anyway because you could be transferring unwanted bacteria or parasite from their tank directly into your tank you don't know what they have discus are expensive fish my fish of choice um, you know, it, 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 it broke my heart, uh, you know, watching my last tank go down. I'm certainly not going to start up another one and even remotely chance that I'm going to introduce something in here that I don't want. So that's number one, okay? If you have filters inside of your own home, then that's the easiest way to cycle a tank is to take one of those sponges out or one of those filters out, put them into this tank, into your new tank, and then go ahead and basically what you have is the instant cycle. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. But if you're just starting up a tank, you don't have access to your own beneficial bacteria source, meaning another tank, um, there's a huge risk using your local fish store. There's a risk using other people's uh, beneficial bacteria from their tanks for the same reason stated. Okay, so for me, that option is out. Uh, then there's the fish in cycle, okay? My man, Dan Haichu, he uh, uh, did a fish in cycle. Um, you know, he's a, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, he knows what he's doing, but, you know, that's him. That's not me. I don't recommend that. Uh, Willie T at Hannah Pro LLC, he was doing that. Uh, again, not something that I recommend. Uh, Willie's another good friend of mine. Um, that's not something that that I would ever suggest that, hey, you know what, go ahead and put a couple of your fish in there that you're going to get and do some water changes because then your fish turn around, they die or they get, you know, uh, something happens to them. They're going to be saying, Scuba Steve's an idiot and why did he tell me to do that and he just killed my fish and he's a dumbass and I'm not going to tell you to do that because I don't do that. So here's what I did was I went down to Ace Hardware, okay, and I get pure ammonia. This has uh, it says contains 10% uh, ammonium ho uh, hydroxide and this is 100% pure ammonia so this is the right stuff there's no suffocants or whatever that crap is called that they put in the ammonia at your you know uh, Walmart or Kmart or you know wherever you know whatever big box stores that you have this doesn't have any of that stuff in there it only costs a couple of bucks um, I've been cycling this tank for two weeks and I was putting 25 drops in a 55 gallon a day um, I tested it with my with my uh, API master test kit and basically I really wasn't getting even a, a, a blip on my ammonia radar you want to try to get it up to about four parts per million to eight parts per million and then try to keep it there by adding ammonia enough ammonia to keep it there every day check your ammonia levels constantly okay and then wait until you have a substantial source of nitrite continue to feed your tank ammonia keep it keeping it at four parts per million and then you should in turn get an established colony of, colony of nitrate that's when you want to go ahead make your order for your fish get your fish I'm gonna make my order from discus Hans and um, 
that's going to be the only, that's going to be the only fish that that ever come in here, and he's the only breeder that I'll ever buy from uh, going forward in the future. Guys, if you have comments or questions, go ahead and put them down below. Uh, we'll do what we can to help you out, and uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make another video whenever I finally get this thing established, and then I'll make another one after that with the. Uh, adding of the fish so I can show you how I complete that uh, using uh, Sea Kim stability. Guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Scoob Steve from Oklahoma, and I'm out.